Ever since he was a boy, Frank Borgo had shown inventive abilities combined with good mechanical instincts. As a young man, Frank built a gas-powered engine snow toboggan long before snowmobiles were developed. In 1969, Frank Borgo was a 44-year-old farmer and partner in the Massey Ferguson Implement Dealership in St. Bruce, Saskatchewan. Frank had, both as a farmer and implement dealer, experienced the limitations of existing field cultivator designs. Through careful study and an investment of $1,300, Frank built and tested a 16-foot prototype in 1970 that would do the job of both a chisel plow and a cultivator. This new concept was on the leading edge of conservation tillage at the time, and its benefits were immediately recognized by local farmers. Demand for this innovative cultivator led Frank to establish a manufacturing facility outside of the dealership. On May 4, 1973, Frank, his business partner Don Coquet, and Frank's eldest son Jerry, a student at the College of Engineering in Saskatoon, incorporated F.P. Borgo Industries Limited. Frank later recruited an additional partner, Paul Array, a local area farmer who also had experience as both an implement dealer and working for an equipment manufacturer. The young company built and tooled a 4,800-square-foot facility on the edge of the village of St. Brew and began production of the dual-purpose cultivator December 1974 with 10 production employees. Don Coquet, the sales manager, started laying the foundation for what was to become a strong network of dealers through Western Canada. Those sitting around the stage and watching the ribbon being cut at the grand opening on February 12, 1975 had no idea what the next 40 years would bring for this small-town business. In the spring of 1975, 65 new Borgo dual-purpose cultivators hit the fields. As with most new products, the first season revealed several problematic issues. Newly recruited engineer Richard Coquet worked alongside with Frank, Jerry and Paul on refining the design and updating current units. By the fall of 1976, these improvements were incorporated, resulting in the best tillage unit offered to the marketplace, the Borgo Vibramaster. The demand for this durable, dual-purpose cultivator allowed the company to expand, so that by 1979, F.P. Borgo Industries had produced a total of 1,000 units. Part of Borgo's success was due to air seeders that were beginning to appear on the prairie landscape, offering farmers the capability to seed more acres per day and with fewer passes. Farmers adopting this new technology typically preferred Borgo multi-purpose cultivators as the seeding implement. Seeing an opportunity, Borgo decided to develop and market its own air seeder. Research and development began with Frank Borgo acquiring the rights to the Bichard seeding system from a local Saskatchewan inventor, Jerome Bichard. Two years of extensive testing was conducted to create an air seeder well suited for the producer. The boldly innovative Model 138 began production in the St. Brew plant the winter of 1980 and was a breakthrough in seeding technology. It was the world's first commercially available tow-behind unit, allowing the operator an unobstructed view of the cultivator. This feature also allowed for quick detachment when conventional tillage was required. The new air seeder paired with the Borgo cultivator helped establish F.P. Borgo Industries Limited throughout the small grain growing regions of Canada and U.S. By 1980, the facility in St. Brew had completed several major expansions, encompassing more than five times the original size. In addition to the new Borgo air seeder, the industry first five row dual purpose cultivator entered production. The addition of the fifth row greatly improved the trash clearance and was offered on 28 to 60 foot units. Several years later, the floating hitch five row cultivator was brought out, providing enhanced contouring ability and more uniform seeding depth. A new facility was required by 1983 to construct the growing line of Borgo 100 series air seeders. The factory located in town ran out of room for additional expansion, so a new plant was constructed one mile north of the village. Future Borgo products such as sprayers, harrows, harrow packer bars, and wing type packer products would also be manufactured at this facility. The mid-1980s witnessed conservation tillage gaining wider prominence in the small grain growing regions of North America. Drought conditions in much of this territory and low grain prices reinforced the need to reduce input costs and preserve valuable soil moisture. Borgo's floating hitch cultivators along with mounted packer products and the tow-behind wing-type packer gave the farmer new tools to achieve good results in dry conditions in a one-pass seeding operation. The decade closed with the release of the 2000 series air seeders, offering ever-increasing product volume and application flexibility for added efficiency. 
the expiration of glyphosate patents through the 1990s triggered some of the greatest changes ever witnessed in farming practices. Farmers were now capable of achieving out-of-crop weed control without mechanical tillage. The era of direct seeding was born, but equipment had to evolve further to capitalize on the opportunities presented by the widespread use of glyphosate. Various manufacturers developed and released a wide range of side banding hoe openers as a method of placing all the crop's nitrogen requirements down in a single pass. Borgo began developing its own side banding hoe opener, but could not achieve sufficient or consistent seed bed quality or fertilizer separation that was vitally important to crop safety. Comparisons found that their openers fared no better. Borgo realized that an alternative solution was needed to provide a safe and effective high-quality one-pass seeding solution. Research revealed using separate seed and fertilizer culture openers provided for reliable separation without compromising seedbed quality, as often occurred with a single shank type sideband opener. This innovative implement provided an effective seeding solution for farmers wanting to maintain a superior seedbed without pre-tillage. The merits of the Coulter opener led to the development of one of Borgo's greatest innovations for a one-pass seeding system. Borgo began the development of a Coulter-style bander that would safely deposit the crop's nitrogen requirements between the rows of a shank-style seeder. Many hours of research and testing led to the 1995 release of the Series 20 mid-row banders. Farmers could now achieve guaranteed separation of seed and fertilizer in a single pass seeding operation while maintaining the integrity of the seedbed. This was a huge forward leap in seeding technology. The increased versatility of the seed drill placed a higher demand for capacity and flexibility on the air cart. The 3000 series air seeder answered the call with three compartments totaling up to 250 bushels. The 5-row 5710 air hoe drill was also released in 1995, designed from the ground up as a direct seed hoe drill with the strength to accommodate mid-row banders. The popularity of these new products initiated a number of changes for Borgo. In St. Brew, a brand new 33,000 square foot facility was erected close to the air seeder plant to increase production. The Borgo dealer organization expanded with the addition of successful dealerships with champion sales and service people throughout Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. A new marketing and distribution center was constructed in Minot, North Dakota in 1994 to service the dealerships in Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Minnesota. The introduction and success of Borgo products in Australia led to the construction of a Borgo facility in Armadale, Western Australia, just beside the city of Perth. The sheer size of the territory required a second assembly depot on the east side of the country in Parks, New South Wales. The late 1990s saw a trend of large mainline manufacturers looking to acquire air seeder companies to gain their innovative technologies. It was during this time, while in discussions with two mainline manufacturers to explore mutually beneficial relationships, it became clear. Borgo's vision of continuing to design and manufacture equipment for innovative farmers was not compatible with the philosophies of these companies. Independence proved to be a very sound decision, allowing Borgo to stay nimble and respond quickly to the changing needs of farmers. Borgo managed its own growth, investing in automation through the addition of robotic welding, CNC machining, and laser plate cutting equipment. Product development, manufacture, and support of the product lines require high quality and professional staff comprehensive on-site employee training programs were initiated to meet the growing demands with existing and new team members. Many of the employees of the company were farmers themselves, familiar with hard work and dedication. Marketing staff worked diligently talking to dealers, attending shows, and meeting with farmers to maintain a close tie with the farming industry. Designers worked closely with marketing and production staff to ensure each design worked well and stood up to the most rigorous conditions. Production and quality bonuses as well as a profit sharing program were instituted to share the company's success with each person, fostering a sense of ownership in the enterprise. New products continued to roll out. 1996 was the year that the versatile 8810 cultivator was released, a design that was available on 8 and 10 inch spacing with the strength to accommodate mid-row banders. With the ability to be configured from a strictly tillage to full direct seeding system, no other product offered farmers the same range of operation. 
The release of the Model 5440 air seeder in 1999 introduced farmers to the largest and most flexible seeding system of its time. This and subsequent models helped establish Borgo as the premier commodity cart in the agricultural industry. Borgo entered the precision seeding market with the offering of the Zinx seeder controller, enabling farmers to take advantage of GPS technology for field mapping and variable rate application. On October 27, 2001, the Saskatchewan Chamber of Commerce inducted Borgo Industries Limited into the Saskatchewan Business Hall of Fame. The Business Hall of Fame was established to recognize cornerstone businesses that have demonstrated excellence and contributed to the economic well-being of the people of the province over an extended period of time. Borgo Industries Limited had grown from servicing a small local market into a global agricultural implement leader while continuing to offer team members excellent career opportunities. Borgo invests extensively in personal development and work training with the goal of making employment at Borgo a rewarding and fulfilling experience. Borgo's dedication to meeting customer needs and producing effective designs resulted in new product releases again in 2004. Borgo updated the air seeder line with the Model 6550 air seeder, another monumental step in size, versatility, and performance. With four separate compartments and up to four metering systems, producers could quickly switch seating configurations, saving time and money. Additional models were soon added, providing a range from 200 to 700 bushels. The success of Borgo products is not surprising. No other manufacturer makes more of an effort to conduct research on the effects of nutrient placement in relation to crop germination and emergence. Since 2005, Borgo has seeded thousands of plots managed by staff agronomists and verified by independent parties to both test and verify its own seeding recommendations and also to understand the merits or pitfalls of practices promoted by its competitors. Borgo is truly committed to designing innovative seeding equipment based on sound agronomic practices. Borgo Industries Limited has developed strong markets in Eastern Europe with distribution of equipment primarily in Russia, Ukraine, and Kazakhstan. Countless hours of marketing, service, and product development resulted in a strong network of dealerships through the Eastern European region. A sales and support services office was opened in Kiev, Ukraine to provide a base of operations for Eastern European sales and service staff. Because of the solid performance of the equipment and dedicated support of its staff, Borgo has become one of Eastern Europe's major suppliers for seeding equipment. In 2008, Borgo was the number one supplier of air seeders to Russia, topping mainline suppliers as well as local manufacturers. May 23, 2006, Borgo announced the acquisition of Highline Manufacturing of Vonda, Saskatchewan. Highline had developed an excellent reputation, its core products being rock pickers and bale processors. Since 2006, Highline has included a line of mower designs as well as select products for Borgo. A significant setback occurred July of 2007 when a major fire severely damaged the plant. However, Highline was repaired and rebuilt, making major improvements along the way, including a 12,000 square foot expansion. One of Borgo's key contributions to the agricultural industry was released in spring 2007, the 3310 Paralink hoe drill. Thousands of hours of research, design, and testing was invested into the development of the Borgo 3310 PhD, ensuring that owners receive the greatest flexibility for performance over the widest range of conditions for any independent depth seeding system on the market. Farmers found that they could rely on the 3310 for trouble-free operation, low operating costs, and unmatched seed placement, leading to outstanding emergence. Borgo's facility in Minot, North Dakota began a new phase of operation in the fall of 2008. In addition to providing sales and service support for Borgo products sold in the U.S., this facility began the manufacturing of PhD and MRB opener assemblies and the final assembly of seed drills. Not only did this increase the overall manufacturing capacity for Borgo, the North Dakota facility offered a second distribution point to markets in the U.S. and southern regions of the Prairie Provinces for assembled air drills. Borgo continued to make major investments in its main manufacturing location as well. A 36,000 square foot expansion in St. Bruce, Saskatchewan was carried out in 2008 to help Borgo increase production capacity. In addition to increased production area and equipment upgrades, better product throughput was achieved by implementing lean manufacturing principles workflow. These improvements also created the opportunity for employees to develop new skills and obtain higher paying positions. 
the 3710 independent coulter drill featuring a unique parallel walking coulter arm assembly was released in 2010. Also in 2010, Borgo released an updated design for its conventional air hoe drill line, the 5810 air hoe drill. These seating systems were the first to feature the new MRB3, a hydraulically actuated mid-row bander mounted on a parallel arm linkage. The Series 3320 Paralink hoe drill, released in 2012, offered unprecedented advantages to producers. The 3320 quick depth adjust configuration allowed farmers who previously chose not to change their seating depth because of the time it took or difficulty to reach the openers could now easily adjust seating depth in five minutes. Released at the same time, the 3320 Extra Terrain Contour Configuration offered one-to-one -one contouring ratio, a valuable feature for producers in hilly areas with water runs and sharp knolls. An innovative high flotation option allows producers to seed effectively where conditions would be too wet for conventional running gear. The 7950 Air Seeder entered the market that same year, continuing to distinguish Borgo as the industry leader in air seeder technology. The full line of 7000 series air seeders feature the X30 seeder controller system. This highly intuitive industry leading controller allowed producers to apply only what was needed in specific zones with up to five different products. One of the most important options available with the 7000 series is auto sectional control, allowing farmers to control product flow to each section of the drill, reducing input costs by eliminating overlap where it is avoidable. Borgo began the 2013 fiscal year with an ambitious $50 million capital project to enhance production capacity. Part of this plan includes a four and a half acre expansion of Building E in St. Brew, which will house state-of-the-art welding, machining, painting, and assembly systems, all designed to maximize efficiency. This expansion will give Borgo an excellent position to meet the continuously increasing demand for its products and for the anticipated growth both in our domestic and international markets. Perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. Vince Lombardi. Ingenuity, simplicity, and durability. Principles first set by Frank Borgo to create the original dual-purpose cultivators guided the company to become one of the world's most successful short-line manufacturers today. Borgo relentlessly pursues its goal to develop leading-edge concepts that will provide the highest quality and most effective equipment available for today's producers. It is this focus by each and every team member that enables Borgo to aim high, work smart, and never settle for being other than the best. We are a team, a team with a motto, pursuing perfection.